हेलो क्लास टेंथ टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर इलेवन द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर टुडेज टॉपिक इज ट्विटी ऑफ वर्ल्ड साय नाइनटीन नाइनटीन एंड लीग ऑफ नेशंस वी विल डिस्कस द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टुडेज टॉपिक इज ट्विटी ऑफ वर्ल्ड साय नाइनटीन नाइनटीन अंडर इट्स मेन प्रोविजन ऑफ द ट्रीटी ऑफ वर्ल्ड साय ऑन जर्मनी the consequences of territorial rearrangements after the first world war on austria hungary consequences of the first world war on turkey next league of nations under it formation of the league of nations objective failure now let's discuss some key terms first treaty of versailles the treaty of versailles was the most important of the peace treaties that brought world war 1 to an end the treaty ended the state of war between germany and the allied powers next word plebiscite it means the direct vote of all the members of an electorate on an important public question such as change in the constitution treaty of versailles In the last video we have discussed about the first world war and its causes now in this video we will discuss the treaty of versailles world war 1 officially came to an end with the signing of the treaty of versailles on july 28 1919 the terms of the treaty required that germany pay the compensation for war damage disarm lose territory and give up all of its overseas colonies now come to the reading part the first world war came to an end by the treaty of versailles which was signed on 28th june 1919 in the hall of mirrors at versailles france the treaty refers to the agreement made with germany which had imposed a war on the allies the persons who have who played an active role in framing the terms of the treaty included the british prime minister lloyd george president woodrow wilson of the united states and clemenceau the french premier and v orlando of italy treaty of versailles peace document signed at the end of world war 1 by the allied and associated powers and by germany in the hall of mirrors in the palace of versailles france on june 28 1919 it took force on january 10 1920 the big four david lloyd george british prime minister woodrow wilson president of usa vittorio orlando of italy and m clemenceau of france the principal architects of the treaty of versailles main provisions of the treaty of versailles or consequences of the first world war on germany germany was compelled to sign the treaty of versailles on june 28 1919 and was forced to accept the following terms which were comparatively very harsh germany and her allies were held guilty for aggression and hence she was forced to cede means give up certain parts of her pre-war territories to Denmark, Belgium, Poland and Czechoslovakia. The big four wanted different things for Germany. Germany was compelled to sign the Treaty of Versailles and forced to accept the following terms. Germany's representatives had no real choice but to accept the terms. the treaty declared germany guilty of aggression germany was compelled to give up its certain parts of her pre war territories to denmark belgium poland and czechoslovakia the treaty brought about some vital territorial rearrangement alsace and lorraine was returned were returned to france moreover the saar valley known for its coal mines was ceded to france for 15 years moreover the two two duchies of schleswig and holstein which were captured by prussia or germany from denmark in 1864 
were returned back to Denmark by a plebiscite after a lapse of about 55-56 years, 1864-1919. The Treaty of Versailles brought some big territorial rearrangements like in the West Germany returned Alsace and Lorraine to France. It had been seized by Germany more than 40 years earlier. Belgium received Eupen and Malmedy and Denmark received Schleswig and Holstein which were captured by Germany in 1864 which were returned back to Denmark by plebiscite means the direct vote of all members of the treaty. And moreover, the rich coal mines areas of Germany called Saar was ceded to France for 15 years and the areas to be governed by the League of Nations. Germany had also to lose all her colonial empire, which was divided among the victors. Togolan and Cameroons were divided among France and England. German colonies in Southwest Africa and East Africa were also taken away from her and shared by England, Belgium, Portugal and South Africa. While Japan got Shantung and Kiao Chow in China, New Zealand got the Samoa Island. Germany's overseas empire was taken away to become mandates controlled by the League of Nations, which effectively meant Britain and France controlled them. Togoland and Cameroons were divided among France and England. German colonies in Southwest and East Africa were taken away from her and shared by England, Belgium, Portugal, South Africa and New Zealand got the Samoa Island. The area of the Rhine Valley was also demilitarized. Germany could not construct or maintain any fortification either on the left bank of the river Rhine or the right bank. All existing fortifications were required to be destroyed. To guarantee execution of the treaty, the German territory west of the Rhine was to be occupied by the Allies for 15 years. The German army was also reduced to 1 lakh and she was not to have any air force and submarines. The Rhineland had to become a demilitarized zone. This meant no German troops were allowed near the French border. The Allies were allowed to keep an army of occupation there for 15 years. The army was limited to 1 lakh men. Germany was not allowed to have tanks, submarines or military aircraft. The Navy could only have six battleships and also Germany could not construct any defensive wall either on the left or right bank of the river Rhine. Germany had to accept the war guilt and she was compelled to pay a heavy sum of $33 billion as war indemnity means compensation to the Allies. Germany had to pay for the damage caused by the war. These payments were called reparations and she was compelled to pay $33 billion as war compensation to the Allies. Thus, the Treaty of Versailles was very humiliating for Germany. So, it had far-reaching effects on Germany. It led to the rise of Nazism in Germany. Its leader Hitler violated all the terms of his humiliating treaty of Versailles and plunged means jumped the world into another world war. Thus, the treaty of Versailles was very embarrassing for Germany. It had extensive effects on Germany. It gave rise to Nazism in Germany and Hitler, the leader of Nazism, broke all the terms and conditions of Treaty of Versailles and jumped the world into another world war. The consequences of territorial rearrangements after the First World War on Austria-Hungary. The period after the war saw the beginning of the end of the European su supremacy in the world, economically and militarily. The United States surpassed Europe to emerge as a world power. The political map of the world, particularly that of Europe, was transformed after the peace treaties. 
Their results in brief were as follows. Austria and Hungary became separate states. The rule of Ottomans came to an end in Turkey. Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia emerged as independent states. Germany had to surrender the areas of Ukraine and Malmedy to Belgium. The war saw the end of autocratic monarchies in Germany, Russia and Austria, Hungary. The Tsarist dictatorship in Russia came to an end after the outbreak of Russian Revolution in 1917. Under the impulse of nationalism, Alsace-Lorraine was restored to France. The ending of the U- European supremacy was started after the World War I. USA emerged as a world power. The political map of the world was also transformed after the peace treaty. Austria-Hungary were forced to sign the Treaty of St. Germain with the Allies. The results were as follows. Austria and Hungary became two states. Ottomans' rule came to an end. Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia emerged as independent states. Romani, Finland. Denmark got, got Schleswig, Belgium got Ukrain and Malmedy. City Memel went to Lithuania. Three ruling dynasties were destroyed. Romanov in Russia, Hohenzollern in Germany and Habsburg in Austria-Hungary. The Tsarist dictatorship in Russia came to an end after the Russian Revolution 1919. Alsace-Lorraine was restored to France. Consequences of the First World War in on Turkey Turkey was also forced to sign a separate treaty, that is the Treaty of Servers, by which she was forced to accept the following terms. This treaty stipulated means demand or specify a complete dismemberment, means disintegrate of the Turkish Empire. The control of Syria was given to France, while Palestine and Mesopotamia were handed over to Britain. England also gained the control of Egypt from Turkey. Most of the remaining Turkish territories were shared by Greece and Italy. After World War I, a nation called Turkey did not exist. Although the Ottomans surrendered and the Allies decided to split Turkey into smaller nations by making the Ottomans accept the Treaty of Servers and they were forced to accept the following terms. This treaty specified disintegrate the Turkish Empire and the control of Syria was given to France, Palestine and Mesopotamia were handed over to Britain. Control of Egypt was also gained by England and most of the remaining Turkish territories were shared by Greece and Italy. The Treaty of Servers, however, could not be put into practice because there was a revolution in Turkey under the leadership of Mustafa Kemal Pasha, whereby Turkey regained the control of Asia Minor and the city of Constantinople. The Treaty of Servers could not came into existence because of revolution in Turkey under the leadership of Mustafa Kemal Pasha, who undertook sweeping progressive reforms which modernized Turkey into a secular industrial nation. League of Nations The First World War was brought death and destruction all over the world. The peoples and the government of the world began to think about forming an international organization to prevent future wars. Accordingly, conferences and discussions were organized to find out ways to prevent future wars. Now reading part. Formation of the League of Nations, as mentioned above, An important result of the Treaty of Versailles was setting up an international organization with the name of the League of Nations. It was set up on January 10, 1920 by the then American President Woodrow Wilson with its headquarters at Geneva in Switzerland. It has six main organs, the Assembly, the Secretariat, the League of Council, Permanent Court of International Justice, International Labour Organization, the Mandates Commission. In 1919, the victors principally, the UK, France, the USA and Italy, met at Versailles in Paris to hammer out a peace agreement. 
the american president woodrow wilson suggested a blueprint for the post war world he called this his 14 points one of his key point was the setting up of the league of nations it was set up on jan 10 1920 its headquarters at geneva in switzerland and it had six main organs the assembly the secretariat the league of council permanent court of international justice international labor organization the mandates commission objectives of the league of nations the following were the chief aims and objectives of the league of nations to achieve international peace and security and to prevent future wars by establishing international relations on the basis of justice and honor by establishing international relations with other countries future wars can be prevented and international peace and security can be achieved to promote material and intellectual cooperation between the nations of the world so that man's life may become happier and nobler encourage cooperation between countries to boost trade and commerce to formulate plans for the reduction of national armament to the lowest point consistent with national safety discouraging member states from maintaining large armies warships and destructive weapons to preserve the territorial integrity and political independence of all the members of the league by following the principle of collective security respect among the states for each other's independence and sovereignty to provide for a peaceful change in international relations and to reconsider international treaties which had become inapp inapplicable and had become a hindrance to peaceful international relations and to supervise the working of the mandatory system for promoting human welfare prohibitions on secret treaties alliances between the states corrective actions by league of nation member state against any single state or group of states disturbing world peace and order promotion of cultural social and economic cooperation among the member states failure of the league of nations in maintaining peace in the world the first world war came to an end in 1918 the world have a sigh of relief but it was not known that after 20 years there would be even another war which would be more disastrous than the first one the league of nations failed to establish peace in the world when hitler came to power in germany he refused to accept the treaty of versailles he started the expansion of his empire and increased his military power soon europe was divided into two rival groups as a result of his aggressive policy the cold war had begun and in 1939 it culminated means began in the second world war the league of nations created at the end of the world war 1 and the treaty of versailles was supposed to provide world peace as all nations banded together to stop any aggressor nations the league of nations had failed because it was too weak to resist the dictators the idea of collective security failed when key countries failed to become members germany and japan left the league in the 1930s it did nothing to prevent hitler mussolini or japan from rebuilding armies and attacking other countries the cold war had begun and 1939 it began with second world war thank you